Does this turning into a long intro? Hi beauties! Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you are new here, hi, my name is Jacob. I am a beauty enthusiast here on YouTube and social media and would love it if you guys would consider liking, commenting, and subscribing down below if you haven't already. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a few different looks using the Glaminatrix Glamorous Palette. I do know that it is currently out of stock. I believe even the singles are out of stock, but if you guys keep an eye out on their social medias, I do know that they bring back popular items fairly often when they can, just in limited quantities. So just keep your eyes peeled for that. I do hope that you guys get some inspiration, find out if this is a palette that was meant for you, maybe try duping it out with some of your singles. I know I like to do that with palettes that I'm considering buying. I'm going to jump into a few different looks and then we're going to do a look today to get some makeup on the mug. I'll give you my final thoughts in the end of the video. Again, if you guys haven't already, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below. I really appreciate it. Oh, I am also going to try out some new makeup that I received this week, but we'll get more into that in the final look. So yeah, let's get right into it. So getting started beauties with the Glamorous palette, the first look I'm going to do is going to start with Luna on a wet and wild fluffy blending brush. I'm going to start to pack that in my outer V and also take that up through my crease. You can definitely see that these shadows are packing a lot of pigment upon a first application, but I do want to build this up a little bit in my crease before I start to blend it out. And just blending that now in small circular motions throughout my crease and in my outer V. Now we got that blended out where I like it, the next matte shade we're going to use is the shade Style, and I'm going to put that on a pointed fluffy blending brush. I'm going to be taking this in the inner corner and up into the first half of my crease where the start of my brow begins. And then I'm also going to wing this out in the outer V just so that I can start to get that shape that I like and then blend it back into the crease. Now that's blended out where I like it. I'm going to jump into a single shadow, a dark navy blue. I'm going to use this to deepen up my outer V. I'm picking that up on a domed blending brush from GLMR, and I'm just going to start packing that into my outer V. I'm going to blend with the first brush that I used from Wet n Wild just so that I can get some of that pigment blended away there. I thought I went a little too ham at first. Once I have that blended, I'm going to go back in with my GLMR brush and just again start to blend. And I believe I put about two to three layers of this shadow on before I got to the depth that I wanted. Once that is built up where I want it in the outer V, I am going to pick up the shade Luna once more just to blend on the mobile lid and throughout the crease. And back in with the shade Style just to further blend that into the shade Luna and that dark blue in my outer V. With that, the crease is complete. I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease. First, using a Q-tip dipped into micellar water, I'm going to clean off my lid. Once I've got my lid cleaned off, I'm going to cut that using the NYX glitter glue on this Detail GLMR flat brush. Jumping back into the palette, the first shimmer I want to take is the shade Belle, a beautiful green with like a magenta base. 
taking that shade Bell on a Trixie Cosmetics P03 brush, I'm going to be packing that onto the middle of my lid and you can really just see that the Glaminatrix shimmers are not here to play, they pack a punch. Now going into the shade Opulence, I'm taking that on this ColourPop small shader brush and that's going right next to Belle on the rest of my mobile lid, but I'm still going to leave some room in my inner corner for a highlight. Just going back and forth with both sides of my brush now to really blend between the two shimmers. And now just patting that all the way up to where I made my cut crease. And just jumping back in with my blending brush and that dark blue shade to go ahead and marry the shade bell with that dark blue in my outer V. And again back in with the Luna brush just to make sure I've got that all blended. Now I'm liking where that is at. I'm going to be taking this shade I depotted from a Makeup Revolution Transformation palette on my Wet n Wild lip brush, and this is going to be my inner corner highlight. And again, I'm just gonna be taking that all throughout where I've made my cut in my crease. And once I've patted that down, I'm gonna be blending it all the way onto my lid just so that there is not a harsh line. This has a really beautiful blue, pink, purple reflect to it, so I thought it would fit really nicely with both shades. We're gonna come back to finish the under eye, but moving on to the face, I'm gonna use the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Glow Serum samples that I got with my palette. And I'm gonna take the She Glam Skin Fluencer Balm Foundation samples that I have. I'm gonna start with the shade Shell here. Next, I'm gonna take the shade Chantilly and use that as my highlighting shade. The last shade I'm going to use is the shade Warm Vanilla, and I'm really just using all these because they make a good foundation match for me, and I'm trying to use up the samples that I got. So again, here just highlighting with the shade Chantilly. It's the lightest shade of the samples that I got, so I like to use it as a highlight. Not really a concealer, though, because it will crease if you use it as a concealer. And lastly, just adding a little more coverage with the shade Warm Vanilla. For concealer, I'm going to take this Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Concealer in the shade C1, and that's really just going to help to brighten and add some more coverage under my eyes where I have some bags going on. For cream contour, I'm just going to grab an unmentionable liquid lipstick I'm trying to use up and a Trixie Cosmetics cheek brush, and I'm going to start to pat this on and then blend it out with my sponge, just so that I'm not adding too much coverage where I don't want it. Overall, I really did end up liking this method of application because I think it turned out really well. Now taking the She Glam Jelly Wow Blush and Highlight Stick in the shade Clandestine, I'm going to be using the blush and the highlight for cream blush and highlight respectively, and just going in at first on my hand, but I felt like I needed to just go ahead and apply it straight to my face and then blend out with my sponge, and I think both methods are really great and they blend out beautifully. And here I am just taking the highlight end of the stick and then blending that out with my smaller blending sponge. To top off my cream highlight, I'm going to go in with the Fluid Beauty Rain Universal Gloss. And I'm just going to be tapping that on with my ring finger just to add a little bit more sparkle and dimension to this highlight. To set my under eyes, first I'm taking this Makeup Revolution Luxurious Baking Powder in the shade Ghost, and I'm just putting that directly into my under eyes after I've blended out any creases, and then I'm going in with my usual combo of Physician's Formula and Elf Setting Powder. Next, for contour, I'm going to take the Pure Sculptor Palette, and I'm going to mix both shades of the contour on a Trixie Cosmetics P13 Stippling Brush, and I'm just going to be doing my usual contour with that. Usually these shades are a bit heavy, so I think going in with the stippling brush really helped to even out the application on here. 
going in with this crown brush now, I'm just going to be taking those same shades to do my nose contour. And this is just a big fluffy blending brush that I got in a set from a BoxyCharm. It has no label on it, so I can just reference it as a giant fluffy blending brush. To kick off my powder highlight, I want to take a Wet n Wild fluffy blending brush, and I'm going to mix the shades from the Sculptor palette, and just pop those right on my cheekbones. Now taking my e.l.f. bronzer palette, I'm going to grab up all four shades on this Alamar Cosmetics bronzer brush and just start to add some color to my face, around my forehead, and under my chin as well. My blush is going to start with the Beauty Bay Blusher in Coral, and I'm taking that on a Trixie Cosmetics P11. And to top that off, I'm going to grab the Mod About You blush palette from Drixie Cosmetics. And I'm going to take the shade Plush Bunny, that middle shade there. And I'm just going to be dipping into that and plopping that right on top of Coral just to get a nice blend going on. Then while I have this open, I'm going to take the highlighter shade Creamsicle on that same Wet n Wild fluffy blending brush. I did expect this to be a little bit too deep for me, but it ended up being a beautiful orange juicy highlight that I could not get enough of. Next you'll see me cutting my cheeks just with that same powder. I'm taking my NYX brow pencil in the shade brown going to be running that through my brows and then I'm going to be taking the She Glam Set Me Up Brow Gel. I'm going to be running that through my brows. I did completely forget to apply mascara for this look so I apologize for that. But going back to my eyes now, I'm going to be finishing up the under eye. I'm going to be taking this BH Rose Gold brush, and it's an angled fluffy blending brush. And I'm going to dip into the shade Luna and take that from the outer V of my eye probably to about three-fourths of the way in. Then grabbing that same pointed fluffy blending brush that I used the shade Style on, and I'm just going to be blending out the shade Luna with that brush. And then I decided that I wanted to dip into the shade Twinkle with that ColourPop brush from earlier, and I'm going to be finishing off my under eye in the inner corner with that, just dragging it down onto the lower lash line. Dusting off all my excess powder, and to top off my face highlight, I wanted to tie it into my inner corner, so I'm using that same shade from the Transformation palette and just taking it on a fluffy blending brush to go ahead and top off my face highlight. Just kidding, on that same brush I'm going to be grabbing the shade Moon Cruiser from Kaleidos Cosmetics and that will be the final face highlight that I have on and I am really glad that I topped it off with this shade because it is just beautiful. Just going in with a nice soft pink nude and unmentionable liquid lipstick here and topping that off with the Tracy Prime and Shine Lip Crayon in Shell Beat Sheer just to give my lips some moisture because this liquid lipstick was definitely due for the trash. And here we are beauties, this is the first look that I've done with the Glamorous palette from Glamour Nutrix Cosmetics. Let's see what I can come up with next. So starting the second look with the Glamorous palette from Glamour Nutrix, I did prime using the Cream Brow Bone Highlight Shade from the Brow Bar by Rima. I'm starting with the shade Sweetly on my Dew Color number 2 fluffy blending brush. And at first you see I'm going in with my usual cut crease style, but ultimately I decided I did not want to do another cut crease, so I am just going to cover my entire mobile lid garage door style. And I'm just going to softly blend at the edges in my inner and outer corners and along the crease. This did take about three layers to build up to the opacity that I was looking for, but it is a really stunning maroon wine shade and sort of inspired this whole monochromatic look you're about to see. Now 
now that Sweetly is looking nice, I'm going to take the shade Package on my ColourPop E1 Pinched Blending Brush, and I'm going to be using that to blend starting in the inner corner. Then I'm going to move to the outer corner, and I'm going to start winging it out how I like to do. And beauties, please do not come for me. I know that I do this with all of my eye looks, but it is just the eye shape that I find most flattering on myself. So yeah, that is why I continue to wing out my eye looks. And once I've got that winged out nice and wide, I'm going to be blending it through the crease just to connect the inner and outer corners. Now that package is nicely blended, we're going to be going into my She Glam Multi Chrome Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Opal Essence. I'm taking that on a Trixie Cosmetics P04 brush, and this is going to go over the top of Sweetly on the lid as a base to the shimmers. Now dipping into the shade Generous from the palette on a Trixie P03 brush, I'm going to be placing this on the outer corner of my lid and then blending it into the middle of my lid just to marry with the shade Opalescence we put down. And this is like a beautiful pink bronze shade. It is like a duochrome shade, but I will say this is not as sparkly as the other shimmers that are in this palette. For my inner corner highlight, I am taking the shade Twinkle on a Michaels paintbrush, and I'm going to be taking that into my inner corner, onto the lid slightly, and then just tapping it up through the crease how I like to do. And with that, we're going to be jumping into the face. I'm going to use the CoverGirl CG Smoothers BB Cream in 810 Light to Medium. I'm going to be taking a Mayron Cheek Cream in Berry Blush as Cream Blush and applying that with a Trixie P12 brush. This is another blush I bought in my search for dupes of the purple cream blush from Fenty that was sold out for so long, and I really am glad that I picked this up because it is a beautiful blush. I did go a little ham on this side, you'll see here, but I just took a clean sponge and dabbed away some of that pigment before I started blending again. Next, I'm taking my e.l.f. Aqua Cream Blush and Bronzer and using those respectively, the blush just to top off the apples of my cheeks, and then the bronzer just to give the uh, contours of my face some color. Grabbing my Wet n Wild Hello Halo Liquid Highlight in the Holographic shade, I'm taking that on a Trixie P10 brush, and I'm going to be putting that on all the high points of my face here. Now taking my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Concealer in C1, just under the under eyes, and blending that out with a little beauty sponge there. And once I have that blended, I'm just going to set that all in place with my usual setting powder. And I did forget to mention earlier, but I am doing my foundation and setting powder here with my Juno & Co. Microfiber Sponge. Over to contour, I'm taking the P13 Stippling Brush, and I'm using the Pure Sculptor Palette Contour Shades again, just to contour the sides of my face and under my chin. Then going back into the palette, I'm mixing Sweetly and Package, and I'm just going to mix those on the P11 brush and start to use that as my blush. And again, I wasn't really going into this expecting it to turn out to be a monochromatic look, but I really did love how this shade turned out as blush and all over the eyes. To top off my blush though, I am taking the Trixie Cosmetics Back to the Fuchsia palette and the shade Moon Boots on that same P11 brush, and again just topping the apples of my cheeks with that shade. 
Dipping into hologram from that same palette, I'm popping this on the highlight points with a lab squared, just blending in fluffy blending brush. Then jumping over to do my brows and mascara. I definitely didn't want to forget mascara this time. And I am just using all the same products for my brows that I used in the previous look. For mascara, I'm using the Makeup Revolution Curl Elevation Mascara. To finish the eyes, I am just taking a Real Techniques pinched shading brush and the shade Sweetly and blending that onto my lower lash line. I am going to go back in with my Dew Color Number 2 brush with no additional product just to slightly blend that down. Then back in with my ColourPop brush from earlier and the shade Package and again just blending slightly more down and blending that into my blush to do a kind of blush draped look. And of course you could stop here, but I am who I am, so I'm taking the Gifted Highlight from Kaleidos and I'm using that on that same Lab Squared brush to top my highlight off. And then I am also going to take that on the Michaels Paint brush that I used for my inner corner highlight and top off my inner corner highlight with it and take that down into my lower lash line just in the inner corner to blend with Sweetly. And for my waterline, I'm taking the ColourPop Gel Eyeliner in the shade Piggy Bank. And again, just keeping it all monochromatic, I thought this would be really great to tie it all in. And beauties, I'm popping on some ombre pearls and a purple lip with some clear gloss. But this is the second look complete. Let me know what you think down in those comments, and we'll get into the final look. So starting out priming, I'm going to take my NYX Bear With Me Primer going to take two pumps of that I like this primer because it does have SPF built into it as well so it's just an extra SPF for you I do want to get my eyes primed as well so I'm going to prime my eyes and then we'll be right back I am back I got my eyeshadow primer on I don't know if you would consider this eyeshadow primer. It's from the Bar by Rima. I'm just using the Cream Brow Bone Highlight Shade as my eyeshadow primer today just because I wanted to get some use out of this. I know it's not going to be used for its intended purpose, so I did like it on the second look that I did. But I would give it another go today. Now that that is done, I'm going to go ahead and prime my lashes. I'm going to take my Milani Lash Extensions Brush and I'm going to prime my lashes with the Milani Lash Extensions Brush. I'm going to go ahead and prime my lashes with the Milani Lash Extensions Brush. I'm going to go ahead and prime my lashes with the Milani Lash Extensions Brush. I'm going to go ahead and prime my lashes with the Milani Lash Extensions Brush. I'm going to go ahead and prime my lashes with the Milani Lash Extensions Brush. I'm going to go ahead and prime my lashes with the Milani Lash Extensions Brush. I'm going to go ahead and prime my lashes with the Milani Lash Extensions Brush. I'm going to go ahead and prime my lashes with the Milani Lash Extensions Brush. I'm going to go ahead and prime my I used these two mattes in the last look. I thought it would be fitting and fun to use the final mattes that we haven't used and the shimmers that we haven't used, which is just this beautiful purple shimmer right here. So that will be the star on the lid. I'll probably bring in some other shimmer shades from my plain Jane Remastered palette from a Jack Cosmetics just to add some more sparkle in the inner corner and the bottom. Unless I just take Twinkle from the palette. Let's get right into it. I'm going to start with a brush that I got from an Amazon set. It's a nice domed blending brush. I'm going to tap into... I think I'll start with the darkest shade first and then work to the lighter shades. So going in with curls on this brush, I am going to try to do something fun and different, not just a normal cut crease. Let's see how this goes. I do have to kind of tap out. Any creasing going on? do a shape kind of like that to start out. I would call this kind of like a heart shape crease. That's what I'm starting out with. But I am going to take a different approach out here. I'm going to do that. I don't know why, but that is how I'm feeling. So I'm kind of doing like a reverse wing in my outer V right now. Don't ask me why. I just, this is what I'm feeling. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit more and I'm just gonna emphasize where I first put that down. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna cut this and clean it up so I'm not worried too much about how it's gonna look because it'll look better in the end. This is a beautiful, like, plum purple color. I'm gonna take this more 
It's a two color number nine brush. The next shade I haven't used in the palette is Tempting, this like deep maroon red. I'm gonna take that and that will be put right on top of curls. These are so pigmented. So with Tempting, I'm just gonna pop that right on top of curls in the crease. And then I'm also gonna start with tempting right under here. Y'all, I really do not know where I'm going with this. I just know that I wanted to use all the shades for you in this video so I could get a really good idea of how the entire palette performed. So far, everything is just pigmented blending really well. Like I said, it's gonna look like trash till the end, but I think it looks good right now as far as blendability. Going in with the last matte shade from the palette that I haven't used will be the purple shade Regal right there. I'm going to pick that up on a pretty pointed but fluffy blending brush. I'm gonna tap that right in between these two, I think, and just start to blend there. Still trying to keep this shape rounded. Picking up just a little bit more. I'm going to start to drag it out right here. But right now, that's looking pretty good to me. I am going to go back in, just apply all the colors where I've applied them and blend them out a little bit more. And then we'll be right back as far as getting on to cutting this crease and adding shimmer. So that's pretty much that done. Now, to blend into the brow, I don't want to just take more of the shade Tempting, and I don't want to just use what's left on the brush. So I think I'm just going to take this pressed powder from BH. This is in the shade 205. I don't even think this is available anymore, but just any anything that you use as your pressed powder, and I'm going to use that to blend this into the brow. And I mean, if you have a white or a cream eyeshadow, in your singles, you can take that as well. I just don't have one on hand like I do my pressed powder. Oh, and I took it on a clean, dew color, fluffy bending brush. Fluffy blending brush. And just using it to diffuse that harsh line there. I mean, you really don't even need a powder or an eyeshadow if you just want to use a clean blending brush. You could do that as well. But I want to set that cream eyeshadow base that I put down as my primer. So they are blended not blended. I think it does look a whole lot better. Even though, honestly guys, the camera doesn't do my blending, at least in my opinion. I'm not trying to do my own horn, but the blend does not do, sorry, the camera does not do my blending just. One day I might have a actual filming camera, but the camera that I do have, I bought it probably in like 2011, 2012. At the time I was not really into filming, more so just photography. So it's not the best camera for filming in general, but also I have no idea how to make it work on my laptop to actually get anything off of the camera, like my photos or videos that I've tried to film on it. For the next part, I'm gonna be grabbing my NYX Micellar Water. And I got these Q-tips that are like pointed. So they're not like a rounded end, they're a very sharp pointed end. I'm gonna use this to do something, and then I'm gonna use a regular Q-tip as well to get my crease cut. Let me get that going, I'm probably just gonna speed through that. This is like generally what I was going for, and again, I don't know why. This is just what I was inspired to do. So I think I'm going to catch this other eye up, I'm gonna make sure everything is clean where I want it, probably do some cleaning up under here, and then I'll come back and we'll get the shimmer on. Beauty, so I am back. I have my eyes clean and cut. I did take off pretty much everything that I had going on under the eyes, but figured I'll just add that back on once I've got my face going and we finish up the eyes. I do want to get some shimmer going for sure. Going into the only shimmer that we have not dipped into, we're going to grab Dreamy, this beautiful purpley blue shade. And that is going to be all over the cut here. I'm going to save some space in the inner corner. If you're in a pixie epoxy, I'm going to use that as my tacky base. I do not like to get my doe foot sturdy, so usually I'll put it on the back of my hand. And for this, I'll use my GLMR shadow brush. That's literally what it says, GLMR shadow brush. I'm going to place that down everywhere that I have cut out in my crease. 
And once I have that tapped down, I'm gonna pick up another flat brush. This is the BH Rose Gold number seven and the shade Dreamy from the palette. And Dreamy she is, that is so gorgeous. This definitely reminds me of the Pat McGrath Hutopian palette. It has a shimmer shade almost identical to this. That shift is so pretty. Oh my god. That is so beautiful. Yeah, that is definitely... I think this and Opulence are the shimmer shades in this palette to buy the palette for, but all the shimmers in the palette are amazing. But this one is probably my favorite. It's got all my favorite colors. Like the, It's got like this baby pink base and then like a, a lavender reflect and then like a blue shine. It's That's how I would describe it. Yeah, wow. And I will say this look is definitely one where even I had to trust the process. But like I said, when I started, I really wanted to do something different and fun and not just another plain old cut crease. So I am kind of really loving where I've taken it. That Pixie Epoxy really just grips onto shadow. Like, it will not go anywhere. I do recommend, though, with the Pixie Epoxy, like, give it a few seconds. Five seconds, ten seconds, just to get dried down slightly. And even what I like to do is once I have put it down wherever I want it, I'll go back over it with the brush and just tap over it to get all the excess off of my leg because do, I don't like having a ton of product on. I don't know about you guys, but I like to look like I'm fully covered, but feel like I've got nothing on. Oof, yeah, this shimmer. This shimmer is Bees Knees, Bomb.com, Creme de la Creme. Chef's Kiss, this is the shade that I want. I think that I've pretty much got both eyes caught up now. This is pretty much what I'm doing for the top of the lid. Guess we're just gonna jump straight into getting the face beat. And like I said, we're gonna be using a few new products to get my face done. My lovely friend at work, Mandy. Hi Mandy, if you are watching this video, I do appreciate it. And I appreciate you gifting me these lovely NYX Whipped, F-O-U-E-T-T-E, Fouette, Lip and Cheek Color. She gifted me these three shades, Dark Cloud, Cocoa Bean, and Plush. So I'm going to use these as my cream blush. I bought this from the She Glam and Willy Wonka collection. It's called the Violet Flush Cream Blush. And I saw when they came out with this collection, I'm not a huge fan of the eyeshadow palette mainly because it's just all neutrals, but this I had to have because, oh my God, it smells so good, but I had to have this because I just love the Violet Blush moment. I've just been obsessed with purple blush. So pick that up, but I probably will not be diving into that just yet. I also grabbed these two lip oils. They're the Jelly Wow lip oils. I got the strawberry one. Mm. It smells so good. And I really do love their doe foot applicator on this. But the strawberry one and the blueberry one. I am going to be diving into the She Glam Glitch Out Blush Palette. And I really just thought that this was an interesting concept. The packaging's cute but it is just these three blush colors. There's a red, a yellow, and this very light blue. And basically you're supposed to mix these together on your face to get the perfect blush look. I believe the light blue is a lightening powder. How they advertised it was for brightening the under eye. And then I know that the red is supposed to be blush and the yellow, they're supposed to mix somehow on the face, but I'll check that out. I thought that was interesting, so I wanted to give that a try. For the lip today, I did also purchase these two lip kits from the Willy Wonka collection. I thought they were really pretty. This shade here is Cookies and Cream, and this one is Hot Fudge. And they each came with a lip liner and a lip gloss. The only other thing that I got was this adorable little sponge set. And I wanted to show you guys these before I got them wet because, oh my God. I'm really obsessed with this chartreuse lime green color, and I just thought that this was a cute little set for the price. So you get four little sponges here. Oh, I dropped one, but you get four little sponges, and two of them are shaped like little avocados. 
and you get a giant avocado. And I'm hoping that this gets as big as it looked when I bought it, but even if it doesn't, I think it's a pretty decent sized sponge, especially for the price getting five sponges. I definitely thought it was worth it. So I'm gonna go get these ready, and then we're gonna jump right into I think I am going to just go ahead and speed through that process because other than all the new stuff that I just showed you, everything else will pretty much be the same. And yeah, I'm probably just going to pop a voiceover in with it just to let you know what products I'm using. So y'all, I'm back. I got my sponges damp and I changed my mind. I'm not going to do a voiceover. I'm going to talk it out with ya. I thought it would be better if I just chit chat it with you a little bit. I am thinking for foundation, I want to take my... Revolution, Get Seal Undefined, Full Coverage Foundation. I have the shades F5, F1, and F6. I think that F6 is my true color, but I want to get use out of F5. This one's just a little bit too gold for me, so I'm gonna mix this with my unmentionable liquid lipstick that I use for contour. So I'm gonna mix those together for my cream contour. F1 is obviously too light. F6 is just right. So I think... When these first came out, they had the doe foot applicators that I still have for this one. And obviously, like I said, I kept the doe foot on there just because I knew I was not going to be using it for foundation. And I bought these pumps like maybe three or four months ago. But I'm really frustrated because when I bought them, they were like $2. And I was like, really, they should be free because I already bought the foundation and it was your decision not to include the pump in the first place. But I digress. But now I see they're like dirt cheap. They're just, they're like trying to throw them at you. And I'm like, well, that's great. Now that I've bought two. I'm also going to take one little pump of my LA Girl Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigment in the blue shade. Just because I do feel like I need to neutralize it just a bit. So literally just like two wee dots. Before I mix everything, I also like to take my Urban Decay Velvetizer Powder. Just to add extra coverage to my foundation. So that, I feel like that's a really good match. Taking my big old avocado sponge, dab that into my foundation here. I don't like to go super heavy on foundation. I'm just, like I said, I like to look like I've got the coverage, but not feel like I've got the coverage. And I do feel like with this foundation, you do get a good amount of coverage and you don't really feel it. But I have really gotten into my BB and my CC creams, which I never thought that I would say, but the CoverGirl CG Smoother BB cream and the Wet n Wild one, they're really good. Really shouldn't be putting this much foundation on my forehead. It always seeps into those wrinkles, but here I am doing it. So, I think that was like one pump of the F1 two pumps of the F6, and then two dots of the neutralizing pigment. But I do think that's a good match. I'm going to go in with the Pretty Vulgar Undercover Concealer in the shade Little White Lies, and I'm just going to take that right here on my outer V, and under my eye there. And I'm going to take it down my nose as well. I think I'm going to add some coverage to the sides of my nose too. Then I'm also going to take my Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C1, and this I'm going to use just to brighten on my inner corners. Gonna add some coverage there. And then I'm going to grab the little avocado. An avocado! Thanks. Let me know what you guys prefer. Do you like the chit chatty watching me do all the blending? Or do you guys prefer I just get to it with the voiceovers? Cause I don't mind doing the voiceovers like I have been, but sometimes I do like to chit and chat. I'm going to show you guys why I should not put that much foundation on my forehead. Just push that foundation into those fine lines. Now that I've got that done, we're jumping into cream. I'll go with the combination I mentioned earlier. So sorry that that name was just on your screen. 
That was my bad. I really do try to make sure that the unmentionable is not mentioned in any shape, way, or form. But sometimes, sometimes it happens, guys. I do want to take my foundation sponge now and just tap over where that contour is stopping to make sure that it's nice and blended. Much better. And for my neck and jawline, I like to really f focus it right here on my like jowl. And then I feel once I've got that jowl pretty much shaded, I like to kind of cut my chin. And again, just going back over that with my foundation sponge. And I really do like cream products for underpainting, basically, just because it gives me a good blueprint to follow once I've got everything set in place. And if I do mess up anything as far as cream, contour, blush, highlight, wipe it off. Fine. Start again. For cream blush, like I said, I did want to try these NYX Lip and Cheek Souffles. These two, just because I feel like they're gonna go with this look the best. So taking Dark Cloud, a lot of product on that. Doe foot. And plush. I really appreciate the ladies at work, but Mandy is so nice for setting this stuff aside when she was going through her makeup to give to me. I really do appreciate it. So I think I'm gonna start with the darkest and then go to the lightest. I am going to be blush draping it into the bottom of the eye look, so that's why I'm starting right here on my highlight point. And I don't want to affect that negative space, so I'm not going to blend it up through my temple right there. I'm going to... That is so pretty. Oh my god. I love that. Again, I have, I don't know why guys, but I'm obsessed with purple blush right now. I'm obsessed with it. And then I'm just gonna start it back up where my eyebrow kind of starts basically. I want this to be like a negative space. And y'all, if you are not a blush type of girl like I am, you do not have to do all this craziness. You do not. But if you are the type of blush girl that I am. This smells like root beer. I was going to say cream soda, but it's definitely not cream soda. It's root beer. It really does smell like root beer. Wow. Now see, the other purple blush I brought, sorry, but does not smell like root beer. It smells like candy. From the Shegoin collection, that, that stuff smells like candy. This is so... Y'all, I love blush. And I'm literally not even using like half of what I put on my hand. I'm so mad that I'm wasting it. And again, why I love underpainting so much, you can just figure out what you're doing as you go. You don't have to have a plan. I'm gonna grab the plus shade now. Just taking it on the same brush because we are going to be blending them together, so. You guys have gone kind of ham with the blush, I admit it. Do I regret it? Hmm, good question. No. I am smelling root beer and it makes me want a root beer float. And I do tie my blush into my nose. When I go like this down the ridges of my nose, under my eyes and into my cheeks, I try not to have so much pressure. But like I said, guys, I'm blush crazy. So you do not have to do like me. But if you do, I hope you're having fun. I know I am. I think that is good for cream blush. I I literally look crazy, but I don't care. Like I said, when you feel like you've gone too ham, go back in with your foundation sponge. Tap over everything. It makes you feel better. It makes you feel like, no, I haven't gone to him. There is just enough ham on the sandwich. And last but not least, I am taking my Fluid Universal Gloss in the shade Roxy, and I'm gonna be popping that on my highlight points for some cream highlight today. And I'll take that on this Wet n Wild eyeshadow brush. With these Universal Glosses, they are kind of stiff, so I like to warm it up on my brush or with my finger, whatever method you prefer. Tap it on the back of my hand like I pretty much do with everything cream, and then I go in and I pop it where I want it. That is that cream highlight. Now that I've pretty much got everything where I want it, I am gonna dabble over my forehead crinkles again. 
before I go ahead, if you hear Kibo, I'm sorry, but he's a cat, he's gonna cat. If you don't like cats, why are you here? That, that should be in my intro. A makeup and cat enthusiast. And when I say that, I mean it, guys, cause there's this one cat in my neighborhood. I'm not gonna say her government Christian name. I won't do it. But I call her Jinx. I fell in love with this cat the second I saw her. The people in my neighborhood who own her. They like to let her roam the streets whenever she wants to, even if it's freezing, literally, and snowing outside with ice on the ground. So I'm just like, yeah, go outside, have a good time. They don't get it fixed. She's had several litters since I've been here, since I've lived here. But yeah, I feed her all the time. And since she isn't fixed, she goes into heat. And all these male cats have been just hounding her. And it's really starting to tick me off. It's not consensual. It's not consensual. We're gonna do something about that. So now that I have everything cream on that I need on. I'm gonna be taking my milk, blur, and set blue setting powder. And this is what I'm going to be setting my face with today. I really do enjoy these little avocado sponges. And the big one, I think these are really great. Especially with their little tips. So good for getting in like the inner corner. I set the sides of my nose. I really do think that that was a great purchase. Happy that I got that. And now that I'm all done and set. I'm gonna grab a fluffy powder brush and go ahead and wipe off all the excess. Boop! 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 Jeepers creepers. And see when you set it, just the perfect blueprint. And it kind of took down everything, which I really enjoy. Because now I don't feel like I look so crazy. My nose is so cute. I've never liked my nose this much. To start with my powders, I'm going to start first with this Laura Geller Baked Balance and Brighten Foundation in Medium. This was one of the things that Mandy gave me. It is far too dark for me to be a foundation, but it does work as a nice little contour. So I'm going to pick that up on this Trixie P13 Stippling Brush and just start to use this to contour my cheeks a little bit. Since it is a foundation powder, it is gonna give you some coverage, which is also always nice. But because it's baked, I feel like it doesn't really feel like anything. So let me know, guys, again, do you prefer a chit-chatty type of video? Or are you liking the voiceovers that I've been doing? Just getting straight into the product, showing you what I'm doing in the video. I'd say the hardest part of doing the voiceovers is just finding the background music because I don't want it to just be nothing when I'm not talking. But like I said, I do like a chit chatty video now and then. I do think that my next video for you guys is gonna be more of that style, just to sit down, chit chat, get ready with me type of thing. I wanted to maybe come up with, you know, like a 21 questions type of deal. Oh, just taking the Lab Squared Just Blending In brush to start to kind of contour with that Laura Geller powder on my nose. Just on the sides. I don't want to take that blush color down, so I don't think I'm going to contour on the tip of my nose like I usually would. But yeah, so I think the next video I'm going to do is going to be more of a chit-chatty. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to pick a palette. Maybe I'll do like a palette bingo type of thing. Or maybe you guys have a palette that you want to see me use. If you saw, I'll link it up in the cards there. My makeup collection video. Definitely check that out if you haven't already and comment down below if there's anything you want me to use in that palette bingo video. I'll be sure to read your comment and let you know I'll use the palette then. Otherwise, I'll probably just do what I said and, and randomly pick one. For blush, like I said, I want to try out this Glitch Out palette from She Glam. I am a little skeptical right now because there are only three shades in here and none of them seem to be pink or purple or a variation of the two. And I feel like even if I was to mix the red and the yellow, I'm just going to get a shade of orange. So like I said, I am going to give it a test. I, I really am interested in seeing what this white, I'm sorry, this blue powder is going to do. So I'm going to take a Trixie P09 brush. It does look blue. Okay. My eyes have gone a little blue now. I will say I did brighten right there. I will say, hmm, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Once you've got it pretty much blended out there, you're not really getting that blue tone. Oh, that's so cute. So they have names. The blue shade is called Be Right Back Loading. The yellow shade is called Big Data Moves. And then this red shade is called Unexpected Error. I do really love 
and think that this is so cute and clever how they package this. So before I go into the yellow, I am gonna dip into the red first using the Trixie P11 brush. Maybe the white in there will make it a little pink. I do think I'm gonna have to dive into something else. Not to say that this is bad, cause that's really pretty actually, but it's just not the color that I want. But I'm not minding it so much. I do think that the white X in there is making it sort of like a pink blush, which I am always here for. Okay, okay, I'm liking it. I'm not lying, I'm liking it. So if you guys have any suggestions for what you want to see in the future, definitely let me know in those comments. I do still remember that someone commented saying that they wanted to see me use my glitters, and I'm bummed to say that I have not been using a whole lot of glitter recently. And if I do, it's usually like a glitter liner or a pressed glitter, but definitely still going to be keeping that in mind for my future videos. Now, before I dive into any other blushes, I am liking where this is going, so I'm going to take the yellow Big Data Moves. I'm gonna dip into that. We're gonna see what she does. I was thinking that I might need to use another blush palette, but not even lying. This is kind of doing it for me. Wow. I'm pleasantly surprised. I think this is really pretty. Mm hmm okay. Work she glam. That is pretty much everything powder other than the highlight, which I am definitely saving for last. I'm going to hop off camera one more time just because I want to get my brows done. I want to get a brow bone highlight on, and then I'll come back once I have my brows, my eyelashes, and my brow bone done to get the inner corner on and highlight, and then of course wrap things up with one of these two new lippy sets that I got. Back beauties, and I have my eyebrows done. I did not yet put on any mascara because I did realize I want to get my inner corner on before I do that. I did pop the shade AC110, this bright gold pink duo chrome, or I should say multi-chrome right here on my brow bone and then for brows I just did the usual NYX brown brow pencil and the She Glam set me up brow gel. I'm going to take the shade Twinkle from the Glamorous palette and I am going to use that for my inner corner. And I do still have my Fixie Epoxy down. It's just very much dried down now but still working great to grab onto the shadow. And I love that this Twinkle shade is a yellow base but that base really barely shows up it's pretty transparent and it just has this amazing blue aqua teal green shift to it yeah and i'm just gonna tap that right on top of dreamy in the very tip of my crease like i like to do that's so pretty. And to finish up the lower lash line, like I said, I did want to take Regal, that purple shade that we kind of used up here, but has pretty much gotten lost in the sauce. Pick that up on this Revolution R2 fluffy eye brush, and I'm gonna take that and run it all along the lower lash line. I'm telling you guys, it, you can't go wrong buying from this brand. You really can't. Everything that I've gotten from single shadows to eyeshadow palettes to loose highlighters, everything is pigmented, it's blendable, it's worth every single penny that you paid for it. The bummer I know is that when it comes to that checkout, you're gonna see the shipping cost, but I just feel like with the products that you're getting, you're, you're not losing money. You're definitely getting your money's worth. So just taking it and blending it straight out into that wing that we made earlier but got rid of. I do think that this one is going up and this one's going out, but that's neither here nor there. That is a me problem. I'm going to jump back into the brush that I used for my blush. I'm going to try to tap off anything that could be there. And I'm just going to sweep that under... And I mean, if you're not like me again and you don't like blush like I do, just take a clean brush, a big fluffy one, an eyeshadow brush, whatever you prefer, and just blend that out till your heart's content. I'm gonna take this Purple Makeup Obsession X Tiffany So Coal Coal Eyeliner in the shade Cocktail. Put on the Revolution Curl Elevation Mascara. 
I'm going to let that sit for a sec and then I'll probably put on another coat after that dries down. I'm going to take my Only Better highlighter that I bought off of Amazon in the shade I just remember that it was the shade Rose on this fluffy dew color number one brush. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, it's so pretty. Of course, I'm not done because I am who I am. To top off all the highlight, I think I'm even gonna add this to my inner corner. I'm gonna mix these two. This is the Trixie and Kimchi highlight in double diamonds. So I'm gonna mix these together. I just go down the center. I don't like to swirl. And this I'm just adding right to the tops of the highlight here. So that is Double Diamonds from the Trixie and Kimchi collection. I will say, I will not be repurchasing this Carl Elevation. This, yeah, I don't think it's the one. I do want to do one more thing. I'm gonna take this unmentionable highlight and I wanna take this for the negative space, just to really add like a beam of contrasted highlight to that space. Oh, baby, that is a beam for sure. Yes. Don't know if you guys agree, but I really think this look is turning out. So guys, this is pretty much where I'm gonna stop the look. I am obviously going to add a lip for the final thoughts and wrapping things up, but I'm going to do a quick little TikTok transition here. Alrighty, beauty, so I'm back in the final look to pop on these lippies and give you my final thoughts about the Glaminatrix Glamorous palette and all the new makeup that I got to use in this final look that I am absolutely loving. For the first set, I'm going to take the Cut Fudge set. That one has the lip liner that looks like this in a nice brown color and then the lip gloss is kind of like a, I would say a, a mahogany brown. It's definitely more like a reddish brown but definitely still beautiful. First of all, I'm gonna let you know, these smell like chocolate. <laughs> wow, it's so small and I can smell the chocolate. It's not like an overwhelming scent either, it's just cocoa. So here's the lip liner, just lining my lips. This is really pretty. And now for the gloss, kind of looks almost purple, like almost matching the... This is so pretty. This matches the blush so nice. The cream blush that came in this Willy Wonka collection is identical to this gloss. This lip combo is gorgeous. This is the lip combo hot fudge. I'm gonna pop this off and then we will jump into milk and cookies. Got hot fudge taken all off. Just going over with my sponge, no extra product or anything. Now going in with milk and cookies. You can see this is a much lighter pink. Well, I don't even wanna say pink, it's a pinky nude. The lip liner looks to be, I would say at least a, a little bit lighter. So this is the first one. This is the one that we're gonna be using now. So again, gonna line my lips. So this is like a nice peachy nude, I would say. And guys, don't come for me. I am not the best at lining my lips, but I'm doing what I can. And I'm trying to get better. Talking is not helping. So I really like this because it's like a my lips but better kind of thing. This one does not feel as emollient as the last pencil. Definitely stiffer. So again, it's like a my lips but better thing. So I do really like this shade. Two. Add the piece de resistance. Woo! 
Uh-huh. And it, this one really smells like cocoa. That lit pencil didn't have the strong cocoa scent like that hearth one. So maybe the scent has something to do with the emolliency. Yeah. Choices, I made good choices, guys. This is so pretty. With that, this is the shade Milk and Cookies. Y'all. This is gonna be the final look for the video. I am pretty freaking happy with how this turned out, especially because I was not sure if it was going to turn out, but I think that it looks really pretty. Now we're gonna go ahead and get into all my final thoughts beauties that was three looks using the brand new glamorous palette from glaminatrix cosmetics again i'll give you a peek at what she looks like inside all the shades have now been used and i can give you guys my full thoughts and opinions on it i will say as you've probably heard me say a few times in this video all the shades in here matte or shimmer are definitely worth the money. They have the bang for your buck. The mattes are going to be pigmented, buildable, blendable. The shimmers, some of them, like the two on the top row here, are more of like a flat metallic, but they just they all have that impact that you're looking for. The two shimmers here on the bottom definitely have more of a glitter and glitz to them. So I would definitely say if you guys were looking to get your hands on this, keep your eyes on the Glaminatrix social medias because they usually do restock stuff that sells out and they'll do limited restocks whenever they can. Because Glaminatrix, even though they tend to go out of stock, they do bring back things that sell out well. I know that their U Beauty palette, they just brought back their nearly neutral palette they just brought back so definitely just keep an eye out if you were wanting to get your hands on this or even the singles they'll definitely in my opinion or at least I'm hoping so because this is such an amazing palette they'll definitely bring it back so I would say my overall thoughts and opinions on the palette are positive 10 out of 10 would recommend again I have not gotten anything from this brand that I would not make but I would not recommend to you guys because everything has just been worth it, worth every single penny. Now, getting into everything else that we got to try today, I used the two new lippies from She Glam, their Willy Wonka collection, the Hot Fudge, and the Cookies and Milk. And then I also showed you guys at the beginning of the video, I used their Jelly Wow lip oils. Everything that I've bought from this brand as well has not disappointed me. I I am very skeptical of them still because looking at everything in this purchase, I did realize that nothing has a cruelty-free seal of approval on it, and I am not sure why, but I'm just now realizing that. So maybe have to take a step back from purchasing things from this brand. I do know it's super affordable and definitely... Oh wait, there is a cruelty-free thing right there. Hmm. I'm glad the blush does, because the blush was great. I love the blush. The lips were so good too, though. Hmm. I would definitely say that this blush palette is worth the bang for your buck. I was shocked that it turned out as well as it did with this look, but I am very happy. And then the sponge set. Yeah, that sponge set. Although I really do enjoy the size of the giant avocado sponge, I did realize that it's already got a little tear right there. And I'll tell you guys here now, I've had this Flower Beauty sponge a hot damn minute, and that chunk right there took forever, forever to get there. So I'm like, wow, that's interesting. But they are super affordable. So, I mean, it's probably worth it as, as far as like, you're gonna get your money's worth out of it. I did also really love the cute little lip and cheek. What are these dang things called? Lipped lip and cheek souffle. Yeah, I am just really overall satisfied with everything that I tried in this video. Again, I do hope that you guys found some inspiration from one of the looks that I did or all of the looks that I did. I am really bummed that you're not able to go out and get your hands on this right now if you wanted to. But again, I just hope that you guys are keeping your eyes peeled for it on their social medias because I am, I want to say like 90 
99.5% sure that they are going to try to bring this back, if not the whole palette, at least, at least in the singles. I think that that pretty much wraps up this video. I am going to go ahead and get ready for maybe bed because it's midnight now. Definitely leave me some comments, guys, letting me know what you want to see in future videos. In the next video, like I said, I'm going to be doing chit-chatty, get ready with me type thing. Let me know if there's anything you want to see in my collection in that video, and I'll be sure to pull it out and pop it on my face for you. But I do hope you guys are having a great night or day whenever or wherever you are watching this. I will hopefully see you guys in the next one. Bye. I did not lock. ado and too much talking too much chit chat i like chit chat better than talking i'll be taking a few different looks using we're gonna be taking mm -mm -mm. i'm back i got my eyebrow my eyebrows no sorry i have to take be real that texture right there on my skin always me up girl f me up no point in sh shying it I almost said shitting. Voice over while I just put on my makeup. I don't know why, but I feel really pretty right now. This matches the blush. Oh, it's not so good. Sorry, I'm looking at myself and not you. All these amazing, beautiful shadows that they give you. I. Don't know if I like that. I think I'm going to go back a little bit, just a wee bit. You know what I didn't do? I didn't clean up my contour, but I think that blush just distracted me. I really do. I can see why you so cute. Did you guys even notice that I got my ears pierced? I said it in like two videos ago. I was like, oh, I got a surprise for you guys, and it's right back there. There's a hint right back there. And it was that earring tree. Did anybody catch that? No? Just me? Okay.